Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and yes, I am at war with myself. And no, I don't mean psychologically. We're back at it again with another 5v5 war using my rushed Town Hall 12 and several other of my own accounts. And today, I've got two wars for you. So two wars back to back fought valiantly by both sides. And uh, right now we're just starting out with the lower stuff. So this was my Town Hall 4. Had to do some cleanup for my Town Hall 2 that couldn't get the job done at the beginning of this war. But as it always seems to come down to, in these 5v5 wars, only one attack ever matters. And that's pretty much because of the way I've stacked up the clan. It's a Town Hall 12, although pretty badly rushed, and then a 6, a 4, a 3, and a 2. So those are the five accounts that I bring. So we almost always match up with another not so great Town Hall 12 and then several lower level Town Halls as well. So these bottom four are usually handled pretty easily. I mean, the Town Hall 2, like I said, often gets War Stars and we will start tracking the Town Hall 2's progress towards War Hero. So let's just roll through these attacks as they're not the clutch attack that determines the war and you'll see where we stand against the clan not so easy. Okay, so this was the last of the lower triples, and that sends this war to an early, just Galadon lead, now the other clan hadn't attacked at all, of 12 to 0. All right, so here we go. It's my Town Hall 12 versus their Town Hall 12, and I am the Rahul. I mean, this is definitely a much more advanced Town Hall 12 than mine, uh, no doubt, although his heroes not super high, so our heroes are closer to the same level, Everything else, you know, mostly it's just walls. It's kind of intimidating. We're going to go in with E-Dragon Spam and uh, taking a close look at the angle of attack as far as sweepers, the eagle, I decided to come from the bottom right with simply eight E-Dragons and eight balloons. So I normally, I send the balloons in first just to make sure they pick up any seeking air mines. None really in this case. Then the eight E-Dragons and the Warden, and of course the Stone Slammer has another E-Dragon in it and uh, a couple more balloons. So he had wizards coming out of his clan castle. We managed to freeze a few and the Sweeper and the Inferno Tower. So a good value freeze, and then check out this freeze. A little early to catch the Town Hall, but it did freeze the Eagle and another Inferno, and then the final freeze froze the Town Hall's Giga Tesla and that final Inferno Tower, at least for a few seconds. We did boost the army, so I had max freezes on hand. Everything else is normally maxed, and then of course we also boosted the heroes. Hey, you never know, an extra five levels? It might just make the difference, and right here, okay, so we're getting close to the end of this attack, and my thought was, let's run the heroes in on the right-hand side, try to get the far right air defense and expo down before the dragons wrap around and get wiped out by it. Because these heroes, well, they're just not that tough yet. I would love to have at least a level 60 archer queen. In fact, what do you say? Gemmer all the way to 60? Uh, well, that's, that's for another episode. That's for another series. Gem fix that rush. You know about that series. But all right, let's get back to the task at hand. We got the air defense down. Trying to get to the expo was looking like I might not be able to succeed here. Didn't feel real great about this. I knew the heroes were not that strong. The E-Dragons were just about to go down. But luckily, we got through the Expo, and we are just barely going to clutch out the three-star. So, looking pretty good. Now, it is up to their Town Hall 12 against my significantly softer Town Hall 12 defensive base. So, right now, yes, no attacks. But, thanks to the magic of YouTube, we get to fast-forward to... The enemy's attack right at the end of the war. I am the Rahul comes in against my trolled out Town Hall 12. It looks easy, but is it that easy? Now, notice I am the Rahul has lower heroes. He's got only level 2 E dragons and he drops them in from the bottom left. So he chooses to go for the Town Hall first. Check out my archers. That's right, you gotta love it. Donated by my Town Halls 6, 4, 3, and 2. 20 puny level 1 and 3 archers, yet they get the job done. They stall the E-Dragons right in front of all of these defenses for a long period of time. The enemy now trying to freeze the Eagle Artillery for a few seconds, and he gets in there. Check it out. That's right, the Desperation Rage on nothing, and somehow... The Town Hall stands as the heroes have yet to be deployed. The Eagle Artillery is still active 
And now, you ready for the surprise? Where do you drop your heroes in? Check the little alleyway on the bottom left around 8 o'clock. Archer Queen can reach the town hall from there, and with her ability, can she get a level 5 Giga Tesla? I'm guessing I Am The Rahul decided no, she could not, and rather than going for that town hall with everything he had, he went for percentage. Well, we all know that Galadon dropped the triple, and we also know that there's no chance at this point that the enemy is going to grab the three stars, so that means... Yes, another war victory notched into the belt of just Galadon as we pick up the Trollin Town Hall 12. Uh, you know, and it's getting more and more trolly every day. I actually hate to max it out because it's just so misleading right now as it stands. So there's a victory. Uh, the opposing clan didn't even bother to finish their attacks because, again, there was only one Town Hall that could possibly three-star my number one. Now we're going to fast forward to another war between just Galadon and another clan and this is the final attack of the war for both clans. So again, it only matters your Town Hall 12 versus their Town Hall 12 in this situation. So here we've got 31 plus is the name of the clan, again with the E-Dragons and this time I will tell you, it's not going to be a one star. This is about as close as it gets. Now it again comes down to spell timing and placement. Watch my sweeper just go into work. The rage spell on the left hand side, the second rage spell, A, overlapping, and B, missing most of the critical troops. They do eventually move in into the rage spells and head right towards the town hall. So at this point, yeah, he's going to grab the two star. You've got the damage, now you're gonna have the town hall go down, but can he grab the triple? That is the key right here. How close to the three star can he come? The Giga Bomb goes off, taking out an E Dragon, and now you're down to just a few Electro Dragons at the top of your screen. The heroes are gone except for the Warden, and the Eagle is still hammering away at those E Dragons, and of course, right smack in the middle of the screen, two maxed out Giga Teslas doing work. Those are a couple of P100Ds right there, my friend, and they are crushing it. There is no way this is going to be a three star, but how close can he get? As he drops his last rage spell, the Eagle Artillery is down, but again, those maxed out hidden Teslas go into work, and remember, as these units approach the core of this base, what was right here? None other than the trap. So, what I mean is, it's not just where the Town Hall was, but they're seeking air mines and bombs everywhere, lighten up the sky with fireworks and sure enough watch the left hand electro dragon as another seeking air mine reaches out takes him down and that is the end of this attack 86 percent two star it made predicting the outcome of this war easy beat 86 percent i win by percentage or stars of course if i can drop the three star here is the opponent's base here is my attack and again you'll notice he's pretty well upgraded Maybe more upgraded than me as far as defenses, but I did have the level 5 Giga Bomb, the level 5 Giga Tesla at the town hall. Most of the rest of the defenses he had were better upgraded, and I was sweating it because of the single target Infernos. Those are usually pretty tough on Electro Dragons. We got the first one out of the way, trying to keep that Eagle frozen, trying to get the Dragons in there. They finally get in there, getting the Eagle Artillery out of the way, and now you see the balloons and an E-Dragon closing in on the town hall. Looks like it's going to be close, but we get it down for the second star. Top of your screen, lots of E-Dragons moving in. Yet another single target Inferno Tower. And now it's time to make the decision. Where do we drop the heroes? I don't know if this was the right choice. I went up at the top of your screen around 2 o'clock. The problem is, of course, they're going to be within range of that single target Inferno. Now the Barb King, watch him just run out of range and just barely survive. I thought for sure this Electro Dragon had this single target Inferno in hand, even if it had to be the Lightning. No, the Inferno stands and now the Archer Queen getting burned. She just barely gets out of the way as well. 87% though, you see the numbers racking up. That is right. We have passed our opponent in overall damage and although we can't grab the three star, Passing 90% iced the victory, and just Galadon picks up another Clutch War win. I gotta tell you, it's been a lot of fun, because although, yes, these clans are what some would call engineered, they end up matching really well with opponents, and it ends up being a close battle every single time. This one, we win by 0.8%.
So let's make this a series and let's talk about the Just Galadon War recap. We are now at a war win streak of seven wins, a total win percentage of 81.8%. And the Town Hall 2, he's got 39 war stars. Thank you guys, as always. Leave a like on the video if you want this series to continue. I appreciate your time. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your time today. Be kind to people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I challenge your Town Hall 2 to a hit-to-hit -to -hit match. Mono E. Peter.